You want to be able to withdraw $40,000 each year for 30 years. Your account earns 4% interest. How much do you need in your account at the beginning? How much total money will you pull out of the account? And how much of that money is interest? All right, this is a three-part problem, but it's an example of a payout annuity. And we know that because we're going to be making withdrawals from an account. So we're looking at our payout annuity formula. And do you remember for your payout annuity formula, it starts by saying that the amount that you're going to be withdrawing from or the amount in the account from which you're withdrawing, P sub zero, is equal to the amount you withdraw on a regular basis times the quantity of 1 minus the quantity closed of 1 plus R over K raised to the minus NK all divided by R over K. This is our payout annuity formula. How is that going to work to solve our first part of the problem? Well, we're looking to know how much money do we need at the beginning in our account. Namely, we're searching for P sub zero. This is what we don't know. We are told D, which is our deposits, excuse me, which is our withdrawals. We're withdrawing $40,000 each year. So D is 40,000. Because we're doing it once a year for each year, K represents one, the number of times per year. And N, because we'll be making those deposits for 30 years, N is 30. That makes N times K, one times 30, or just 30 as well. And finally, R, or our interest rate, that's 4%, or if we like, 0.04. So taking this bit of information and these variables and substituting them into our payout annuity, we can come up with P sub 0. Now, I like to use Desmos, so I'm going to go ahead and plug all of that information into Desmos and come up with a response. So substituting all those variables and that expression into the free online calculator, www.desmos.com, I get the following. I get that P sub zero equals 40,000 times the quantity one plus one plus 0 0.04 over one, quantity closed, raised to the negative 30 over 0 0.04 divided by 1. This amount that I get at the end right here is P sub 0. Plugging 40,000 in for D, 0 0.04 in for R, 1 for K, and 30 for NK. That tells me that the amount in my account that I need to make those withdrawals is going to be $691,681.33. Okay, that completes part one. Part two, how much money will you pull out of the account? Hmm, okay, well, this is pretty simple. Every year, I'm going to be taking out $40,000. And I'm going to do that over the course of 30 years. And so if I take $40,000 each year for 30 years, I multiply that together, and I get that I'm going to be able to withdraw the following total. $1,000,000. 200,000 uh, dollars. Uh, one more zero. There we go. 1 million 200 thousand. That's the amount I get by taking 40,000 times 30. And that's how much money I'm going to be able to pull out from my account over the course of the 30 years. That finishes part two. Now how much of that money is interest? Well, 
we take the amount that we pulled out, which was 1,200,000, and we subtract from it the amount that we started with at the beginning. So we started with, in our account, 691,000, $681.33. So if I subtract that from the amount that I pulled out of my count, account, I will determine the amount of interest that I actually was using or how much of that money was interest. Either using a calculator or subtracting by hand, you should come up with 508,300 and excuse me, 508,318.67 cents. I'm stumbling over my words today. $508,318.67. And that completes part C.